Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, welcome. My name is Monica. And for those who are not new, welcome back. It's great to see you here again. Today's video was supposed to be a book haul for you guys. Um, I had pre-filmed a lot because I was supposed to be going camping. And spoiler alert, I did go camping. Um, it was a youth camp for my child, my daughter. She wanted to try it to see if it's something she likes, would like to do. My daughter has autism. She also has sensory processing disorder. And my daughter just couldn't handle it. So we ended up coming home less than 24 hours, but we did have a dance party where she decided to play Rick Astley just to bug everybody. It was fantastic. I loved it. Um, and the few people who knew what Rick Rolling was were, were laughing with her. So it was great. Julie Garwood is what got me into historical romance. Um, so I wanted to honor her because I love her writing. I love the world she's built. She's done so much for the romance community. She passed away. She passed away on June 8th. And, and then we found out, I think it was June 3rd. Yeah, it was June 13th or 12th and um i posted it directly on my instagram as soon as i i found out julia garwood was one of my favorites i was sitting there thinking about uh rereading some of my favorite all-time julia garwood books and i will do that but i'm not going to film it my first uh foray into romance was actually anna green gables when i was younger but that's not really romance right and then i started and then i snuck at vc andrews I mean, who has snug B.C. Andrews? Um, and then um, there are some tweens um, romance. And you, you know, you get the babysitter clubs and all that stuff. But then I found a copy when I was in, I was working one time. And I had, I was really bored. And it was a Nora Roberts book. And then I, that Nora Roberts was my very first real because i don't know if we consider vc andrews romance for me my first real romance novel was written by nort roberts my second was julie garwood um because a few years later i was at college when i picked up my first julie Gar julie garwood book and it was by chance actually i was one of my roommates was reading and she's and i was like oh She's like, yeah, you like Nora, right? I was like, yeah, but I haven't really gotten anything past Nora at that point. She's like, you need to read Julie Garwood. So she gave me, she lent me, and I had to give it back to her, a copy of The Wedding, which was my very first Julie Garwood book. And this one stuck with me for ever. Like, whenever someone asks me to, what book you should start with, with Julie Garwood, I always say The Wedding. This story is about Lady Brenna, who is being... Um, sold off by her father to um, a Scottish la laird and Connor McAllister who is enemies with this laird steals Brenna and marries her right out right out from underneath this guy um, I mean they're on the road he basically he kidnaps her she knows she's not gonna get anywhere so she's like okay I might as well make the best of the situation. So she decides to marry him. And then <laughs> in, within chapter five is when they start to have their relations, right? And I was like, oh, that was kind of quick, but okay. <laughs> What's so funny about this part is their wedding night. He decide, he unrolls his bedding near the fire and he expected Brenna to have relations with him or surrounded by all his men. She's like, no. So she pretends that an English tradition is to make the bridal bed or something like that. And so she goes off and finds an area that's very remote and they fall in love with each other. So the story goes on from there and I loved it. I loved the adventure. I loved the historical aspect of it. I loved um, Brenna's and how Brenna just left things everywhere. And every they just sort of, his people just sort of went with it, had a, a um, a case uh what's it called my mind literally went blank um a, a trunk to put all the stuff that she leaves like she'll leave her hair ties and everything just lying around and then they'll go put it in this trunk so she knows where to go get it later on um and i loved how he was very protective over her um this was a marriage of well it was a forced marriage 
for her. But they had an attraction because at the very beginning, uh, Connor met her when she was a little kid, when she was sneaking out to save a pig, I think, because she's always been kind of that way. And um, she's like, I'm gonna marry you one day. And so he used that as the excuse that he proposed, she proposed to him when she was a little girl. And he's like, yes, I will marry you. And then he kisses her. She's like, what the heck? No, I'm supposed to marry someone else. Uh, anyway, I know this is a little, um, discombobulated but I really wanted to get this video filmed and out for you because she's one of my absolute favorites and, the, and here's the thing about the end of this book um there her younger sister Faith ends up um they, she ends up saving her her younger sister from this guy who she was originally proposed uh sold to um and one of Connor's men is like I want you and she and she uh hinted at foreshadowed a relationship between Faith and this man, but unfortunately she never got to write it. So I wonder what will ever happen to Faith and her Highlander. The world will never know, sadly. The copy I literally went out and bought after, because hers was a hardback, so I went out and bought this, and look how loved it is. Like, this is loved. I read this a lot. This is one of my favorites of all time. But then, so I decided to read The Bride because I read them in backwards. I meant to read, I didn't realize it was backwards. I was just like, oh, this looks good. Okay, I'll read it. And then I got to The Bride and I was like, oh wait, that's first. So this is Alec Kincaid and Jamie. Jamie is a, um, not like other girls, uh, English lady. He goes and he gets to pick out his bride. He picks out Jamie um on the um advice of a guy who knew jamie and her sisters so she's brought back to the highlands and i loved their banter jamie was kind of hot-headed a little bit if i remember correctly it's been a while since i've read the bride um but i remember this one scene in a field because she he gets really angry with her because she just does things and then it ended up really bothering him so alec yells get out so she literally tries to get out of Scotland and he follows her into this field and he's like I told you to get out of the castle not just to, to get out of the room not Scotland and that made me laugh I that made me laugh out loud this is a really really great book and it's a really great uh opening to the Laird's fiance series and um I don't really want to spoil it any more than that but this one is just it's so well done. Um, but like I said, the bride is still number one, or excuse me, the wedding is still number one because it was the first one I read and I fell in love with Connor and with Britta. So anyway, those were two of my originals and I've read like Lion's Lady and I've read a bunch of other ones um, in her spy series. But the thing is, is I can't remember all my my ratings for them. I just remember reading them. So I think I'm going to reread them and rate them. So I have that. So if I ever want to talk more about Julie Gar Garwood in the future, I have that. So, but the other couple that I really want to talk about is this is another um, historical series. And this one is, and I don't have the best OG cover, which makes me sad. But it's the Highlands, the Highland Laird series. So the next series I'm going to talk about, and I don't have the best covers because I just bought them on Amazon. Um, like in 2020, I got really sick with something and I ended up having to have surgery. So I had a lot of time on my hands. So I read two books along with a bunch of other books, but that's besides the point. I read two Julie Gartwood books when I was laying there. The first one was The Secret, and this is book one in the Highland Laird series. On this one is Judith, Ian is Ian Maitland is the um, Laird. Uh, Judith, met, uh, she's English, she met a Scottish little girl at a festival one year when they were little girls and they became best friends. Her, so her friend that she met when she was a kid is about to give birth and she promises to be there to help her. So she trains in midwifery to help her friend give birth. And so she travels up to the Maitland lands and 
that's when she meets Ian, who is the Laird, and they fall in love, and it is fantastic. And I love this one. I actually love this one more than Ransom, because Ransom has more than one uh, romance in it. So I found that, well, I love Ransom, because I love uh, Roderick Buchanan. Um, I just love this one more because I felt more connected to Ian and to Judith. Um, Ramsey St. Clair is a, is a Scottish chieftain. He's also, this is very much political intrigue. Um, and Julian is, um, and Bridget are the heroines. So we meet Broderick Buchanan in, in The Secret. And he, I loved him in The Secret. I loved him in... Ransom, him and Jillian. Jillian was meant, was, an, is an English lady. Um, her father stole some jewels, or so it would seem. Um, she was going to Scotland to find her sister, to find out where these jewels are, because Alfred, I think it was her uncle or somebody, I can't remember who he was, but anyway, um, he was in a lot of trouble with King John, because this is medieval. Ramsey and Bridget. Bridget was the girl who, if I remember correctly, Bridget was allowed to pick her husband. If a guy offered for her, she could say no. Um, that was her father's dying wish. As the Laird um, Ramsey Sinclair said, he would have he would obey it. Bridget is in love with Ramsey, so she was gonna she was gonna say no to everybody but him. Um, to his dismay. And there, that's the second uh, romance in this book. And it's a very long book because there are two romances in this book. Um, the thing is, is that I loved the adventure that Ransom brought me on. And I love Jillian and I love, love Broderick. I think they had great chemistry together and it was really good. And I did like um, the subplot of Ramsey and Bridget. After I finished Ransom, um, I realized that her contemporary romance series, which has 14 books in it, and actually, I will say this, they were, um, I knew about them, I knew about them, because after I read The Wedding, I wanted to know about Faith's, if we're ever going to get Faith's book, I actually emailed Julie Garwood, and she's like, eventually, yes, just right now, now she was focusing on her, um, her contemporary romances, and, um, so I was like, okay, well, then I'm going to go ahead and see what these contemporary romances are about. I didn't actually do that. I continued reading her, her historical romances. So, but then I found out that after reading Ransom, that Broderick and Jillian's descendants were the main characters in her contemporary romance series, which is called the um, Buchanan Renard series. Um, there's 14 books. The first one is Killjoy. And it's um, Nick Buchanan and Laurent. She and she is the target of a serial killer because these are all romantic suspense. Her last one, which was um, released last year, was called Grace Under Fire. Um, but my favorite, because I'm not going to go through all 14 books. Um, there's not enough time. I don't want to make this video too long. But my favorite, so my favorite in the series is Mercy. And this one is Theo Buchanan and Dr. Um, Michelle Renard. They meet in New Orleans. Um, he's at a gala. He is the, he works for the Justice Department as an attorney. And while he was at a gala, he got sick and she treated him, saving his life. Um, however, uh, Dr. Renard is targeted by this secret society and she, he goes to protect her and it's their story. And this has actually a very small tale feel to it. And it is romantic suspense um, because the small town feel is because she is from a small town. And I just love her family. Like her family is fantastic. I love their the way they, uh, Theo and, and Michelle, how they interact with each other. I love the, how interesting the suspense plot was. Um, so yeah, most of them have been like 3.54 stars or 4.5 stars. Mercy was a full five star for me. I 
love love loved this book this book has is psych this is one of my favorite romantic suspense that i have read and it was written in 2001 so this was written before i even know knew who julie garwood was anyway so those are just five of the books that i absolutely love from her she is such a fantastic writer and she will definitely be missed but i wanted to make this video because she was she's one of the authors that are really close to my heart but um let me know if you've read any of her books and if so which ones and what was your favorite have you read her contemporaries let me know down below and if you made it this far in this video and you want to let me know that you're here please leave me a um red heart emoji and until next time my friends happy reading and you will be missed julie garwood bye